graphing straight lines. Some of us have been having a little bit of trouble getting graphing straight lines right. It's okay, we'll just go through it with a couple of extra steps. Any straight line has an equation that's got x and or y. If it's just got one of them, only x or only y, it's going to be a horizontal or a vertical line. But all the other lines have y equals and there's an x and some numbers involved. We work out how to graph them by using the equation to make a table of values. And the table of values gives us a set of coordinates which we plot on a number plane and that makes the straight line. And every straight line has its own equation. So, we're going to graph y equals negative 2x plus 1. And your steps are, you should probably work out what the rule means. So, write out what the rule means. And this will include put the time sign in. So let's do it under here. y equals negative 2x means negative 2 times x. Negative 2 times x plus 1. And we need to do negative 2 times x plus 1 for every different value of x here. Because this will get us a lot of different points on the line which we can join up. So it's a good idea to write out what the rule means. I haven't said this before because you can get away without doing it, but if we're struggling with it, we do this. And Calculate it with your calculator. We calculate the result which gives us y for each different x value. And it's okay to write it down. The table of values is like a what if table. It says what if x was negative 1? Well, if x was negative 1, then I'd get y by doing negative 2 times x is negative 1 at the moment, plus 1. So I've got to do the whole rule with x being negative 1. And do it with your calculator. So... Negative means I'm going to have to use the negative key, negative 2 times negative 1, then plus 1 equals 3. And then where x is negative 1, we put 3 as our y value. Then we do it again when x is 0. And we use our rule y equals negative 2 times x is 0 now, still plus 1. Now, if we're feeling very clever, we don't need our calculator. Negative 2 times 0, anything times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. But if we're not sure, or if we've got time at the end of the test to check, we check it with our calculator. Negative 2 times 0 plus 1 equals 1. We got it right. So where x is 0, we put 1. Now you don't actually have to write all these out, but if you're struggling, then you can, because it reminds you what to do. So we'll do the next one without writing it all out. When x is 1, y will be negative 2 times 
x is now 1 plus 1 equals negative 1. And we write it in. The next one, when x is 2, negative 2 times x is 2 plus 1, negative 3. And if we're feeling very clever, we can spot that there's a pattern here where we're going down by 2 each time, and we could predict that that would be negative 5. But if we can't predict it, that's OK. Use a calculator. Negative 2 times x is 3 plus 1, negative 5. That's our table of values. Now, the table of values makes coordinates. Every x-y pair is another coordinate. And the next step in graphing a line is to plot the coordinates. If you need to, if you know that you get stuck here, you can write out the coordinates separately. This is optional, but if it helps you, this would be negative 1, 3. The x always comes first in brackets because coordinates go in brackets. So if it helps you, write out all the coordinates with the x value and then the y value. Now plot the coordinates. Now I've given you a number plane where not all the numbers are marked. If it would help you, put in all the other numbers. So we start at zero. Put in the positive ones first because they're easier. And up here. And then they all count back in the negatives from 0, negative 1. So if it helps you, put in the extra numbers if you need them on the axes. Now, plot your coordinates. That means the x and then the y. So negative 1 on the x-axis, lining up with 3 on the y-axis. Next coordinate, 0 on the x-axis and 1 on the y-axis. 1, negative 1. 1 on the x, negative 1 on the y. 2, negative 3. 2 on the x, negative 3 on the y. And 3, negative 5. Now they should always make a straight line. So numbers on the axes, plot coordinates. Plot means to graph them in the right spot. Check they make a straight line. If one of them is out, it means that one's probably wrong. They should make a straight line. Then, yes, they make a straight line. Use a ruler and put a straight line all the way along the whole number plane with a ruler. Put an arrow at each end. So let's write those steps down. Rule a straight line through all the points, arrows at each end, and then next to the line, write the rule, the equation. 
So we go all the way back up to our table of values, y equals negative 2x plus 1, and somewhere next to it we write y equals negative 2x plus 1. And that's how you graph a line.